TFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon. Welcome to your 1 p.m. update. Uh, currently, we have the Dow trading down 27 points. It's the only of the cash indices that are trading lower. That's one-tenth of one percent, uh, trading out at 26,124. If we take a look at just some simple trend lines out here, now, I know this might look like a little bit of spaghetti, maybe, uh, maybe one of those interchanges in Atlanta or what have you, but what we can see is that the it looks to me like the uh, Dow is targeting to the downside about the 26022 level as its next possible place for support. If we take a look at the S&P 500, take a look at some trend lines out here. We're not really seeing anything broken. We can see that uh, over the course of the last uh, three or four trading sessions, April 5th, April 8th to be specific, price was running up into a little rising trend line coming off the March 4th, the March 19th, and the March 21st high. Each of you can draw those trend lines in on your system. That's the S&P 500, the NDX. The NDX 100, uh, having made a higher high today, I believe, let's just check this out and make sure today's high is uh, 76.0652. Uh, yep, so you've got a, a new high that was made. Now, if we just take a very short-term trend line, that would be off the high from April 3rd and then a touch point of April 8th. We can see that that slowed price down, just resistance out here, but no signs of a top inside of the NDX 100. Uh, let's check in on gold, see how it's responding to its trend lines out here. So now what we can see is that what gold should do is try to break a little descending trend line. That's from the high out here that formed on February the 20th. Your next touch point for that trend line is going to be March 25th. The exact price that we're looking at, for example, if it were today is 13.18 out here. You're trading at 13. 14. Now, breaking above that trend line suggests that price would make a run up into the 1349 area. That's what Goldilocks looks like. Let's go take a look at light sweet crude. Trading out at 6467, up 71 pennies out here. What is light sweet crude doing? It is above all kinds of trend lines out here. Looks to me like it wants to target the 75 level, getting back into the October 2018 area. That's going to be a stinger at the pumps. Thanks so much for being here. Stay tuned. There's an amazing trader and investor. His name is Steve Rhodes, and he's going to be up next. Have a great day, folks.